Hey everybody, hope you're doing pretty well. And like I said, last night it was just too late to make any videos. So this morning I'm going to be doing my day five of rewards. But it's kind of like on day six, because like I talked about in the last video, sometime if you take long gaps between claiming your rewards, it adds extra hours to your quest. And it's just one of those things we all have to be aware of if you really want to be on top of it and always getting the, you know, rewards every day then you have to claim earlier but i was okay with kind of slowing down my teams needed to recharge ecr they it allows some of the better best players to move up a little bit higher and i actually had a really good day yesterday so we'll start off here with the robinson account this is the account that uh, can make it up into diamond two with power. We'll see if I can get it there. As you can see, I did get this account back into diamond. This is the account that has all the all the teams around level six, but not the best cards. So what I'm going to be doing is doing some renting of the best cards for the focus that we're currently on during this season. And when the focuses change and update, uh, we'll go ahead and adjust to maybe a rental schedule that can you know stay with that. I feel like if I can f stay around an eight chest average now or more it's better to stay in diamond than to take this account down into gold but we'll see if i can stay here i don't know if level six cards are going to stay competitive in diamond so eventually the level six card accounts might have to go back down into gold where they kind of belong or they'll have to get upgraded to at least level seven cards or eight cards uh maxed out ones because that's what you're allowed to use in diamond but we'll have to see who hangs out in diamond three and in lower diamond two if it's people like me with level six cards or if we get a lot more competitive people with higher level cards playing in these things so we'll go ahead and claim these eight chests i was pretty happy with these i was able to get that using the dragon and i let the ecr climb up i probably could have pushed this to 10 but Dragon is not the best team and I didn't want to do any more rentals. So I went ahead and took a day at some time off. There we go. There's a nice dark energy crystals. These dark energy crystals coming through on diamond in the 288s and the 160 are nice because this is definitely what's going to pay for renting some relatively good cards for just one day because that's what you're looking to do on the focus. Wow, we're getting a lot of dark energy crystals. Well, look at that. So we got no potions. Uh, what is that going to add up to? There's 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, about 700 DEC. So that's not bad at all. That's, that's kind of cool, at least for renting and going forward. Obviously, we're hoping to pull cards and more rare cards and epic cards and legendary cards. So that wasn't the best rewards. But for 8 chests, that was pretty solid. As you can see, I got the Drazius account. Uh, he got Dragon again. I rented some really good cards. Specifically, I rented the uh, Carnage Titan at level 3. I rented a um, Camellia at level 3. This allowed me to play some really good Dragon teams. I actually pushed this account high enough to get it into Diamond. But I'm going to try not advancing this one. I want a chance to play it at Gold. Even though I earned 11 here, I just feel like this account with only the two teams leveled up to 6 isn't going to really be able to compete well enough in Diamond. Uh, for me to have it up there so I'm going to leave it in the gold this season uh, see if my rental strategy and playing for chess can go ahead and get us something better let's see how he does he got a Pelicor bandit there's a rare card so that's nice there's our first potion oh we got a gold oh we got an epic the new epic stunning uh, card that's pretty cool got some nice dark energy crystals of blood maker and a gold gargoyle lion so there we go we're getting some of that extra percentage chance to get gold coming through and we got it here on two commons would have rather had it here on the epic but that's a really strong cool pull a really good example of what you're going to be getting when you're in these upper league chests less potions more cards more gold cards so this is one that really shows off some of the changes that they made now we'll go ahead and get this account logged in. We'll log in the Gold Steve account. Now remember the Gold Steve account is the account I started with $150. Uh, I won't sign up for our fray right now. Um, it's currently playing up here in Silver 1 most of the time. I rented a lot of cheap power, but some of that power is being pulled back. So as you can see now, it's been dropped down into Silver 2. But I'm going to be doing the same thing and basically renting some cards to move back into Silver 1 and to help him compete in the league at silver so far it's been working the other day i rented a few cards to help him out um, mostly a lorena because i had a life 
uh, quest. I already have a level three summoner on this team, so it was just adding in a level three Lorena instead of having only level three General Sloan. That made the deck a lot more competitive. I was able to win 13 chess. I did still use Sloan a little bit, but those are two very different summoners, two very different teams. So it helps mix up your play style. So that's something that's probably worth doing. If you're using, say, you know, Sloan, I'm always using all my archers, but when I was using Lorena, I was typically going a lot of the sneak team or a magic team or something a little bit different than your typical team that you would see with general sloan and so that uh, even though they might look on my past games and see that i'm using all white they might not pull the right counter to my play because they might think oh he's using all archers and then i come through with the sneak team so that worked out pretty well we got 13 chest again that's one more chest than i used to get in my season ending we're up to 47 season chests on this account all silver i'm really happy with those numbers i have a good ecr so i should be able to make a good push today we'll see what we get for our next quest and we'll go through these 60 dark energy crystals that's a really big number for here we got two cards we used to only open two chests a day on this account oh we pulled an epic so that's a nice dintrala to pull you got two more cards look at how many more cards there's a there's a infiltrator <laughs> that's just wild and another bandit so we pulled two two rare cards one of the epic cards three bandits one of the and two of the new common cards this is just the ability now to grow your silver account at such a better clip if you're renting cards and it's going to be similar if you're playing down in bronze i know depending on how, how what cards you own and and the rental prices and everything we'll have to adjust to whether or not it's worth it to be doing this i think that it is but you will have to just decide as we go forward let's see what he pulls on his next focus we'll hang out here for a second before going to the the steve r82 account my main account I made it to champion three, so we're up in champion. Oh, he got dragon. So dragon's an interesting one for this team. Definitely will recover, require some rentals. I don't know if I'm going to play that or re, redraw it because I think I have to rent a little bit more to do dragon. All right, we'll get this one logged out. And then we'll change... We'll claim our champion chest for the day, and that'll round out this video with maybe just a little bit of talk. So I did get eight chests, so I'm still keeping my average of seven chests per day. That was kind of what I just picked as my goal while I was down in the, uh, you know, the silver. But as you can see, I had a pretty good day yesterday. My ECR is all the way up to 87 when it was down in the 50s because I was having to push really hard in diamond to get these chests. But the other day, I was able to just do pretty good. I got a dragon quest. I won at a high enough clip to get myself all the way up near the top of champion three, hopefully into champion two pretty soon. I wonder where I am on the leaderboards. Number 63. Not bad. Not bad. Um, so, you know, today I'll be playing. I'm noticing with this account... Um, one of the things that I'm starting to do a little bit more is to make sure not to force the focus team. So if they have a chance at winning, go ahead and play them. Uh, this is kind of something I've thought about in the past, as long as you think you can make a competitive team. But if it's obvious that the current the focus has no chance in that current amount of cap or that current um, rule set, then you just got to move away from them. It's the only way to be competitive, and it allows you to go ahead and change things up now dragon is maybe the one exception to this because dragon has summoners that do if you have them all like i do you can do plus melee you can do plus archer you can do plus magic you could do speeding speed and hill with kitty you can do uh, armor or uh, speed you know there's just there's a lot of different options you can pair them up with any other team so they're probably the best focus to have right now if you have the dragon cards Let's go ahead and claim these. Again, our best pull so far has been 5,000 DEC. We got that yesterday. We'll see if we can pull something a little bit better. Obviously, a legendary card would be worth a little bit more right now than the 5,000 DEC, but a gold and a gold legendary card would be the best. Uh, oh, we got a gold exploding rat, so that's a gold rare. That's not bad. There's a 1,000 DEC, so that's solid. Another gold card, so the Gargoyle Devil. That's actually a pretty good one because I feel like he's getting closer to be out of print. We got a few more cards. 
We got another Pelicor Bandit. We got a Venary Crystal Smith. And we got one Potion. So on eight chests, this is a better example of what I would expect to see in Champion. Uh, more gold cards, higher DEC when you get it, and in general, just more cards. So the, the new percentages aren't always going to play out. I showed you that the other day when I just got three, <laughs> three potions and 10 chests for a 30% potion clip when it's supposed to be a 12. But, you know, m in majority of the time when you're opening these chests, the percentages should play out and if we can push this season chest number up you know i'm only at 41 with seven days to go that's a little bit concerning but i'm just now this is going to be my second day actually playing in champion and earning those additional uh, focus chest so I do our, our points so I do hope that if I can keep my rating high start to focus a little bit more on pushing this number up instead of this number up you know if I can get five six seven of these every day but you push, start pushing this number up a lot higher I think that'll be worth it though as you can see I need 168,000 points to earn chest 42 only 90 points to earn chest um one over here in our 90,000. So, you know, I'm going to earn this one before I can earn this one, unless I obviously don't play that much with Earth. It's a definitely a very interesting new system. I don't know. It's very interesting, right? Because while we're getting less uh, chests in Champion, that 1,000 DEC, I mean, I might have opened four or five chests and not pulled 1,000 DEC before. So, does it matter that I only opened eight chests when I got, you know, a good amount of cards? I got two gold rare cards. I got only one potion. And when I did get a DEC, it was equal to what I might have pulled in three, four, five, six chests even or more of DEC in the past. Mm, I think that this new setup is better. I think that it doesn't look as cool, mostly because it is just so hard to reach those upper end goals. If they really wanted to inflate the reward stuff, maybe in the future, though, they'll probably wait for this to adjust. We could see these daily numbers come down, maybe not start at a clip so high. So maybe you get those first five to six easily. And then the uh, numbers of points that I'm earning per day that are getting me eight might earn me 12 or 13. That that, that might make it a little bit more enjoyable for people, but I don't even know if they need to do those kind of things. I don't think until the season is over and we really get to fully look at how everything went for us, we're really going to understand how this works because a lot of people were like me. I mean, those first couple days were tough. And then the other day, it was relatively easy. I got a, I got the dragon thing. I was playing in champion three. I was getting a lot of points per win. I, I didn't, I was able to just earn eight chests relatively fast and go ahead and stop and I was feeling good thanks to all the new subscribers this has been uh, ticking up a little bit if you do like my content subscribing to the channel is very helpful we uh, are seeing a few more video views so some people are very interested in how these new rewards are doing I'm going to be keeping this series going definitely through this whole first season recapping what I get how each account does uh, doing the, the end of season big uh, one and then hopefully here We'll be adding in some other content with some updates and stuff, but I'm going to try to keep the rewards videos to just the rewards so they're not too long. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Goodbye.